Poria Hospital, located in Tiberias in northern Israel, is the referral health care center for a large area stretching from the Lower Galilee to the Golan Heights and the Jordan Valley, which means the development of digital medicine has become a priority. We are using technologies that allow doctors, wherever they are in the world, to diagnose their patient with cameras and other sensors. And we need a fast network, so we absolutely need 5G. Poria Hospital is one of two hospitals chosen by the Israeli government to benefit from 5G in a pilot project that may later be extended to all healthcare facilities. The advantages are numerous. Back in the day when you had 3G, for example, the amount of connectivity that you were able to use based on cellular was limited. But now with 5G, you can have amazing bandwidth, you can have low latency, you can have a very reliable uh, coverage, because we all know that feeling, for example, when you go, uh, let's say, from the basement uh, in your house, or you go uh, up, up the stairs and you lose Wi-Fi connectivity. With cellular, you don't have that feeling, you know, you always have reliable connections. So if you have a hospital, for example, that very much needs to have 24-7 constant connectivity wherever the device are, this is a fantastic technology for them. 5G network gives hospitals much more flexibility in times of crisis because it uses radio waves and not physical cables. One of the incredible benefits is that if you want to add a unit to your hospital, you don't need a cable and you save a lot of time and money. For example, during the pandemic, we had to build in no time additional COVID departments in the Rambam Hospital in Haifa. It took us almost two months. With 5G, it would have taken us a few seconds. Cellular networks used to be reserved for mobile phone companies, but more and more states are now letting private companies use cellular network frequency bands. The danger, however, is that they become open to cyber attacks. Nearly 70% of cyber attacks worldwide target hospitals. Everyone is interested in the information that hospitals possess. Hackers, those who want to ransom hospitals, as it happened to the hospital in Hadera, countries at war with us. There are attacks that target hospitals every day and every minute because the most expensive information on the dark net are the medical records. They are used to do research or to harm a country. The Israeli company One Layer has developed a technology to protect private 5G networks. But if one was able to gain access to a particular device, they can now utilize that access to gain access to other parts in your networks. So you don't want someone to be able to gain access, for example, to a camera that might be somewhat vulnerable, and from that camera gain access to servers that have uh, information about uh, patients, or to have access to the CT machine or MRI machine, something that is critical for the hospitals. So we prevent that. We ensure that if someone is able to get access to a particular device in the network, they will not be able to utilize that access to gain access to even more confidential areas. Israel's performance in this field has even been praised by the World Health Organization and the country has even been chosen to host the first international center for digital health.